Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Nalo and today we're going to be talking about the potential new cash collection and some investments relating to the cash collection in general. So if you don't already know, the cash collection has been sort of teased because previous new map updates have caused new collections to come out. So take for example the recent Inferno collection that came out in 2018. That's because Inferno was actually updated by the original map creator and then the new map was actually put into the game. Well the same thing has been happening with the cache map and so with that being you know said there's a good conversation that can appear for a new cash collection to actually come out, a cash 2019 collection, if you will. So a lot of the time when this kind of stuff happens, at least, you know, when it's happened in the past, we've seen that the older skins have actually kind of skyrocketed in price since they're no longer available in game. And the newer skins, if they're good, have also rose in price. Like for example, the new SG from the new Inferno 2018 collection is actually holding a pretty nice high price just because it looks so good and it's such a unique skin. So if something like that does end up happening with the new cash collection, that'll be really, really cool. But guys, today's video, the purpose of it is to tell you guys about the new cash collection, if there is going to be one, and what you should invest in. And guys, before we get started, just make sure that you have entered the intro contest if you are interested in that. I made a video just yesterday if you, on that uh, actual topic, so if you do want to go and get entered into that, go watch that video to figure out how, and I hope to see you enter your intros in for that contest so you can display it on my channel. Now, furthermore, I also have a Discord server and a Twitter. Most of you already know about that. Both links are in the description below. So with that being said, let's get straight into this video. All right, so I think the first thing that we should discuss for this actual topic is if the new skins for cash are actually going to look good and what the inspiration can be for them. So for example, I do want to reference the Inferno 2018 collection when we're talking about how good these new skins can possibly look, and uh, I think they can actually look great. The Inferno 2018 collection really did a revamp on the skins and made them look awesome. So I think that means that these new skins can also have an opportunity to be really cool. I think there's a lot of inspiration on the cash map to make some really cool skins. Uh, for example, there is a big Soviet theme on the entire uh, entirety of the cache map, so I think something weird with that can be done, and I think there's a lot of opportunities for skin designers to make something really, really cool for that. So if you are interested in investing in the newer collection, I think you do have a lot of opportunities going forward. Obviously, none of these skins are teased yet, and uh, we don't know what they're going to look like, so there's not really any way I can tell you what are going to be good investments for that, but I do think that they are going to look pretty cool, and you know, obviously, if they look cool, they're going to hold high prices. We saw with the Inferno 2018 collection that was true with the SG and the other uh, higher tier skins so make sure that you are looking out for that when that collection does come out if it comes out now I guess the next thing to talk about is when it is going to actually come out if it comes out and I think that that conversation kind of depends on when Valve actually wants to update the new map because it is finished it's, he's got it all done all the files are good we saw that based on the ESL CSGO tweet that I showed earlier so we know that the map is actually done the only question now is when it's actually going to be released uh, I can't really tell you I would say that the new Berlin Major coming up can definitely make the process a little bit slower so I don't know if we're actually going to see that coming up uh, also the other problem is that the new case is actually going to be sort of teased and looked at around August September and that'll probably come out pretty soon as well so I think the CSGO devs have a lot on their plate right now and so I don't know how soon this new collection will actually end up coming out to the game or when they're going to update the actual map in game uh, but it is fair to say that when they do we can expect maybe a new collection just because it already happened for Inferno. Now what about the older skins? Well guys, if you look at the same prices that I showed you earlier, those older skins are holding much higher prices than they usually did just because they were removed from the game. The M4 Tornado was like barely holding like a couple dollars, but once they got once it got removed from the game, it spiked up all the way to about $30 in price. So we can see the older skins from the old cash collection possibly spike in price as well. I think if they do actually release a new collection, then those prices will definitely spike. So I think right now is actually a good time to buy a couple of, of those skins if you are interested interested in them because I think if they do release a new cash collection you can get a jump start on them now by buying those higher tier skins for really cheap prices holding on to them until the new cash collection is released and then making a bunch of money off of it so I think that is a good strategy at the current moments and I think that's a great idea to do just because of those reasons I'd say if you want to make the most money the best possible thing you can do is buy that Galil Cerberus the Glock Reactor and the Aug Radiation Hazard I think those three skins are at the utmost top of that collection and I think that they are going to increase the most if we do get a new cash 
cash collection and those do become more rare. Obviously the Galil Cerberus will just see a gigantic increase in price. It's already going for about $22 and I think it can just skyrocket even more. It's already super rare in terms of a skin in those higher tier qualities. So I think if you are to get it now, you can see a massive amount of profit if that new cash collection actually does end up coming out. So definitely try to get the jump on that guys. And really, to be honest, that's all there can really be said for this right now. All we know is that the new cash map has been in the works and is now finally done. And we also know that there are a few things in the CSGO devs plates that can possibly make this take a while, which is actually good because that gives you a really nice opportunity to invest in these skins before anything actually major does happen. So you can get these skins for low prices and then end up making a bunch of profit on them in the future. So guys, I think that is probably one of the best investments you can make at the current moment. Uh, obviously not with any consideration towards the Berlin major stickers because I'll make a whole video on that as well uh, once that does actually end up happening. But I think that those Berlin stickers are going to be great as well as long as they you know, look good. And again, I'll make a whole video on that, guiding you guys on those uh, Berlin stickers. So uh, also keep in mind, if you want any further guidance on investment tips, just check out that Discord. There's a lot of people in there that are willing to help you, and I'm willing to help you as well. And so we can all get you uh, situated on what you want to invest in. So guys, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and make sure you subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content and you want to see more in the future. And make sure you leave a like on this video if you want to if you like this video and want to see more content in the future, obviously. And guys, thank you so much for the support recently. It's been really awesome. I've been getting a lot of really nice comments on my videos. We're still getting subscribers on our way to 300. And guys, I hope you do enjoy my future videos and projects. And yeah, that's about all I have for you today. See you next time. Peace.